Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the master of profits. Today, joined by Henrik, the general of Kuse. Doing a two for one. We got two triple IPAs today from oh. Monkish, freshly shipped from the States. I'm glad they're from Monkish and not anywhere else. I mean, you, uh, last time I got a big uh, uh, shipment of Monkish from uh, Andre, mm. you tried them, and we both loved them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we loved all of them. Yeah, we loved all of them. <laughs> so, uh, I think they just, I love that but, they're the yeah. West Coast kind of approach, because they're dank and yeah. bright. But they, they weren't three black years, were they? Mm, uh, I, th no. no, it was doubles. Yeah. So this is gonna be no. There was a one triple IPA. Oh yeah. The one with the gumball as a. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that yeah, yeah. Which was uh, amazing. That was probably my. That was actually probably my least favorite of them. But it was really good. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, but we got two cans. We've got one that's few people saying this is one of the best monkish beers in a while. <laughs> this is a uh, double rat. It's a double dry hop version of some zombie wrapped in green, or I think it's the name is something like that. So a double dry hop triple IPA on 10.1%. And we got a fresh can of In My Head, which is a triple IPA. So it's not double dry hopped, it's 10.4%. Uh, this one was canned on the 2nd of February, and we got the 4th of March today. So it's a little over four weeks, but it's prime time monkish. And it's a double dry triple IPA, I think we'll be all right. And this one is even fresher. This was canned on the 11th of, um, February. of February. So just shy of uh, a month of age, yeah. four weeks. And they got some cool hops. Got the hop combos here. So this uh, here is uh, in my head. The other one is double wrapped. In my head features a combo of Mosaic, a Galaxy, and Rakao, which is Rakao. like a New Zealand hop. Okay. And uh, double red features. Uh, I think this combo just sounds fantastic because it's one of my favorite combos of pups. Citra, Mosaic, and Nelson, the Holy Trinity, <laughs> and Galaxy. <laughs> and it's a double dry hop triple IPA version of Sticky Green and Rep Like a Mummy. Apparently. <laughs> Lots of names. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. So I'm thinking we should start with, even though it's the freshest, I think we should start with In My Head just because it's not double dry hopped. So this one, the one on the right. Yes. This one. The one with uh, the one which is you a, know, yeah. Single a little bit more dark dark or more. Less. Yeah, a little it's more of an orange yeah. dark. More deep orange. Orange. Yeah. Mosaic Galaxy and Rakao. It looks nice, it's very hazy. Very <laughs> the triple IPA looks like turkey gravy. Yeah. <laughs> for for monkish. And it, it, it and almost green. It looks thick. Yeah. It very is thick. But yeah, it's just a bit more orange, just yeah. a little bit less bright than yeah. double wrap, but it looks yeah great. So yeah, let's wow. check out the aroma on in my head. Also, in my I head. love the artwork on these beers. Mm, pretty dank. I'm getting lots of grapefruit in this one actually. I, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it it it's not it's not um, as overripe as the actually the other one from no, the yeah. from the hen house, which was. Just a double IPA. Yeah, just a it was ten percent. But it's ten percent. But the thing with monkish, yeah. they're often yeah. not that overripe. They're more bright. Yeah, this they're is more really bright. bright. This is, yeah, I'm but really I, getting that mosaic kind of blue I'm, note too. I'm happy about that, to be honest. Yeah, it disrupts a bit of the sweetness. Yeah, it it does have some candied kind of uh, yeah, yeah. sweetness fruit like, like Starburst or maybe not Starburst. Maybe it's just like yeah. a juicy fruit gum, kind of yeah, a little bit a like little chewy, a little chewy chewing gum. Yeah, like, kind of thing. But man, loads of, of popping mosaic kind of blueberry yeah. notes. Rakao, I can't remember how, what that's like. It's a Southern Hemisphere hop, but I believe it's like spicy and then more sweet citrusy or something mm. like that. And then Galaxy, you know, I think it's there with some earthiness and stuff. I'm not getting too much, maybe like a green underripe melon or the rind mm. of a melon. Yeah. You know, there's the green parts of yeah. the melon. Yeah, yeah. Because it's the smell of underripe, but super pin bright yeah. and also really dank. But I, I, I really big. like that that it's that it's uh, it, it, it's not overripe. It's it's actually quite bright and fresh and yeah. uh, you know not sour but the uh, but yeah. Also maybe a bit of like yuzu yeah, or yeah, uh, pomelo yeah, or yeah, lime. something like that. Like it's not sour sour, but it's no. it's, it's kind of those sweet citrus fr fruits kind of thing. Let's try it. it smells great. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Wow, it's pin bright. That's very nice. The fun, it's That's the very, very total, nice. it actually does have some sweet citrus or sweet overripe yeah. fruit on the aftertaste yeah. there. But yeah. going in, pin bright, yeah. super dank. That's why I love Monkish. It's like that kind of, that's why they're similar to West Coast IPAs. Yeah. 
you know, West Coast IPA has had those kind of super pin bright dank no nuances. And then they had like nice fruity hops. Whereas the Northeast way of doing haze is more just like really overripe stone mm. fruit and all this yeast ester and they're so soft. This is edgy, it's dry. Yeah. And I think that's why I like Monkish more than like say Treehouse and some of these brewers. It's just because they have dryness and they're yeah. a bit more bitter. And they're just I mean, a bit a breath of fresh air in terms of haze. I think. If, if I'm if I'm to have a triple IPA, this is, this is the triple kind of yeah. IPA I, I mean, this I want. is almost 10.5%, yeah. and yeah. it's so drinkable, yeah, yeah, because it's it dry is. and yeah. bitter. Yeah. Um, big time mosaic flavor for me, like huge mm. blueberry, huge like that kind of dank blueberry note. And um, Galaxy's a little bit there on the aftertaste. There's a bit of sweet melon, green melon, and like some stone fruit kind of vibes. And I think the stone fruit might be esters, uh, and a little bit of bubble gum, not crazy amounts, maybe more just stone fruit. There's a, I think there's a, a little bit of breadiness as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a freshly kind of baked bread yeah, or something. Yeah, the yeah. malt is there, but it's yeah. also a triple IPA, so yeah. Yeah, there is some malt, malt as well. A little bit of like an herbal spice, and then maybe not yuzu, but more sweet citrus mm -hmm. fruit. Yeah. But there is maybe some lime or pith, yeah. lime peel or something like that. It looks very nice. It's a, a similar color, but a bit more yeah. pin bright. It's got that yeah. like more bright yellow touch. It looks much more bright and yellow on camera than yeah. in front of us. It has a bit more of an orange hue, but almost greenish looking at it. Yeah. I love the artwork on this can with a mummy holding two monkish <laughs> seals. <laughs> yes, fantastic. Well, yeah, let's but check yeah. out the aroma on this one. Let's do it. Oh man, that smells so fucking good. Wow. Yeah. I'm getting so much Nelson. It smells like, like almost like gummy, like yeah, with yeah. gummy candy. Something I'm starting to pick up with Nelson and beers like this. It's like it's almost like mm. Haribo gummy bears, the white ones. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, supposed yeah. to taste like grape or champagne bowls or something. I, I mean, and, and it is a bit more. Oh, this is a bit more overripe. Yeah, but I don't think it's crazy. No, no, no not crazy, but it it has a bit more of that. But it's so still bright. very, very nice. It's like really dank too, Ketty it's, dank. It's, it's dank. almost like cat piss. Yeah. <laughs> almost like, almost like slightly sweaty. Yeah, so it's, but I it's love kinda, that. You know, You're the one who introduced like, that to me. Yeah, the sweaty. Like, uh, ice hockey locker room yeah. Uh, t uh, yeah, aroma. In a good way. In a good way. Even though, how can that be in a good way when you know? Yeah, but it's just what we say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, some of the blueberry dankness as well. Oh man, it smells so good. Super pin bright tropical fruit, pin bright pineapple, pin bright passion fruit. And then like, like maybe kiwi, uh, olichi or something like that. It's just like so singy, bright. Like, it's just like, it's exactly what I want on the aroma of your leg. Like, it smells like almost something along the lines of foggier window, which Brett and I loved or, you know, uh, Plants Got, uh, no, Beats is Infinite, which we also loved. That had some brightness. That was just more, you know, iconic galaxy, but yeah. it smells in the vibe of those two beers. Or even a funny papers, but just supercharged. It smells so good. Let's try it. Let's try it. Cheers. Let's do it. Click. Mm. Mm. Damn. That slays in my head. Wow, that is fucking exceptional. I'd rather drink this than I'd drink. Uh, King Julius and King Ju -Ju 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 Julius, hundred percent. This is a much better beer. Fuck, this is good. It is such a great combination of crazy, intense, mm. dank, and mm. pin bright nuances. No alcohol, and then like dryness and everything, and like that West Coast popping dank tank approach. And then aftertaste, you get some overripe sweet melon. You get that kind of juicy fruit bubble gum. You get some yeah. sweet stone fruit. Like in my head is really nice. But it just this is on steroids in this comparison. Is, this is a dangerous beer. Yeah. This is dangerous. Fuck, I love the Nelson character in this. It's like this gummy candy grape thing with the yeast. It's like gummy candy grapes and then like like that really, I guess gooseberry, there's a little bit of that too. Yeah. But then uh, just so much of that and like really pinned by passion fruit. I wish mm. pineapple that everybody made triple IPAs like this. Mm. So drinkable. I mean, because you sh many times you get a mm. you get an, a very unbalanced I triple IPA, and this is just spot on with all yeah. the flavors and everything. So it's so bright. There's Amazing. a little bit of a, a, a that limey thing too, mm. or maybe yeah, I think it's more lime than like yuzu or something. Yuzu is more maybe in the other one. Yeah, I, I think like, this is more yeah more of the the citrusy. This is yeah, a, bright yeah, citrus. Yeah, bright bright citrus, and I like that as well. Yeah, actually. Uh, <clears throat> 
Um, mm. I actually don't know which one I like the most. It's very close, close but they're very different as well. Yeah, they're totally different. Yeah. Um, to, for me, the easy winner is uh, Double yeah. Rep, just because I love Nelson so much. This yeah. just screams Nelson Hops. And I, I, I think Mosaic and Citra really supports it well. The combination of, of you know, some... Like, Nelson is good alone, but it's better with friends, as I like to say, <laughs> because those kind of dank and bright flavors, they really needed some support from a little bit of more sweet kind of vibes, which mm. you can get from like something like Citra. But the cool thing about this, even though it has these kind of uh, crazy bright hops and, and both Galaxy and Mosaic can give up a little bit of earthiness, this is not earthy at all. It's just so yeah. bright and tropical yeah. and like... Yeah, so but, dope. Yeah, but I would say this is yeah. this is more complex. One hundred percent than than this is. I actually, but I it's maybe because it's more drinkable or what? I, th I maybe I actually like this a bit more if I'm honest. But I mm. also don't. I I like things to be maybe a little more simple. Yeah. Well, sense. you know, when it comes to usually, I'd rather drink a single IPA yeah. over this. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit yeah. more. Easy going right yeah. now. I like really like drinking West Coast IPAs, mm. but when we go into triple IPA hazy beer territory and it has to be in your face, crazy man, that just takes a cake. I, I think that is definitely better than King Julius. Like King Julius is more sweet and overripe and soft and pillowy. This is a bit more in your face and aggressive. Mm. There's a little bit of bitterness. It's super dry. It's itchy. <laughs> Both are really good though, but they they have similar flavors, but this mm. just pops and things much yeah. more. This leans more towards some of the sweeter fruity sides, but, and then this just screams Nelson hops. Like there's so much of that Nelson character. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna go 98 on double wrap. This might be one of the best IPAs I've had this year. And usually I don't prefer triple IPAs, but fuck monkeys just knows how to make triple IPAs. So 98 and then like a 96, 97, probably 96 for me on, on in my head. Uh, just, I like this as much as Hen House. It's a little bit of a different beer, but I think they're around the same territory in terms of grade, but fucking, this is an easy, nine, you know, 98. This is, mm. I like this as much as, as Beats is Infinite, which for me was amazing. That was a double IPA. Mm. So yeah, 98 for, for double rack. Fuck, I love this. I think I'm gonna go with 97 for both, because mm -hmm. I actually, I, I, I mean, I, I can understand that, that this is probably the better beer, but I enjoy this actually a little bit more. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 But that's just you know. Yeah. That's yeah, how that's it is. Will be. It's it's subjective. I mean, yes. it is different flavors and what you like. For sure. Yeah. Also, one thing that I only notice in this slightly gasoline like. Mm. That's something I started to notice in someone like really well <laughs> beer. They almost have a bit of like a, the taste of what but you I mean, smell when you smell gasoline. I, mean, I don't drink I mean, gasoline. No, but you like but the, you like the aroma of gasoline, right? Yeah, it's, it's I actually. Do. It's a play. I mean, that's. I mean, that's what attracts many people for like cars and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. you know, the gasoline when you go to your garage and everything as well. It's a nice. It's a nice aroma actually. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, fantastic. So monkish triple IPA. These were the last triple IPAs. Now the rest I have is double IPAs. I still got yeah. six cans of haze left. Some mixed treehouse and monkish. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. If you can, guys can get either of these, yeah. get them ASAP right now. I hope you have some and tried some already. I really hope they'll redo Double Wrapped because mm. Double Wrapped is yeah. the I mean, shit. This is the way to do, in my opinion, triple, triple IPAs. IPAs. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. It is. So, it is. If you guys were lucky enough to try either of these, let us know what you thought of them. Uh, and as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we're going to say cheers in delicious triple IPA that we're drinking way too fast. <laughs> See you guys yeah. in another video.